Hello everybody, I hope you guys are doing well. It is time for a budget plan with me. Super excited to be back doing these. I have a bunch of different things to go on here. So this is for the month of March. So I have a vacation coming up in just a couple of days. So I will have to put that budget stuff in here hopefully. And yeah, and I have a different income that I've had before. So I'm really excited to share with you. If you're new here, I do share all of my real numbers, but this is not the total number for my household. I just share the way that I kind of pay bills and my husband and I have like a interesting way that we set up bills and we kind of split it throughout our income. But this is my portion of what I pay in our household as well as my portion of the income. This isn't taking into account everything for our family. So just wanted to give you guys that disclaimer in case you have not been here before. Today we're really just going to focus in on the month at a glance. That's what we're going to be looking at today. Yeah and this is really going to be all pen planning so if you are looking for a sticker budget planner that is not me. I'm very functional when it comes to my budget planning. I will put some stickers on my other pages as you'll see as we go through and do like our monthly check-ins throughout the month. This is kind of where we're at for today. So <laughs> longest intro ever. Let me get out my handy dandy notebook and I'll put that over to the side so that I can so that I can take a look at that while we're planning. Okay so my main income my take home so this is not before taxes this is after taxes have been taken out. This is the the check that is deposited into my account. So I need my handy dandy calculator. Every two weeks it is two one three three and 13 cents. So let me just add that up. I am not a math person, which makes budgeting even a little bit harder for me. <laughs> I swear, use your tools. 2133.13 times 2. So this is my take home for the month, which is a very different number than I worked with before. It is nice that my income has gone up. There is a little bit more that we can go ahead and add to our savings and that kind of thing, which has been really nice. So my main income, I'm just going to put the projected total and then it's going to be the same because I know pretty much consistently what it's going to be. And then our actual total, there's going to be no difference. 4266 and 26 cents. So then the total difference is zero. My extra in, I'm projecting it to be about, oh, I'm projecting it to be about 500 for the month. It may be even less than that. So we'll have to see, but this is the first month I've been back on social media. So that projected total includes some social media, the, so my YouTube channel, any income that I get from other platforms. So if I put up any Instagram reels and get any bonuses or anything like that, what else? Oh, any affiliate money that I make goes there as well. So I'm hoping that that will be my total take home, but we'll have to see. Typically it's around like 1000 to 1500 is what I take home from social media. But again, I do this part time. I don't do this full time and I don't own like a sticker shop or anything like that. But that is basically my take home from my social media. And I would have to say for me right now, because I don't necessarily post reels and TikToks and that kind of thing, YouTube is my biggest money making platform. So that's just a little bit of the background there. Okay and then my portion of the mortgage is going to be I'm just gonna fill in both of these so 709 yeah it's just 709 and that is gonna be what it is and the difference will be zero. Let's see the phone is 24 and again these are usually about 50% splits so the other part comes from my husband's income. Okay electricity is 42 gas like for the car probably like 25 a month oh no i think that means like gas like it's gonna be 105 this month okay and then water it's gonna be 5250 this is a very exciting video <laughs> you guys okay and then cable so i'm gonna skip that one and then i have streaming so i'm gonna fill in streaming because we don't use cable and I would say I probably pay about 50 a month for streaming, but I'd have to check. And then maintenance, we don't have any maintenance, anything that we need to pay for this month. And then we have internet. So internet is 10 for each of us. And I think that is, oh, 
they have trash on here? I don't think they did. Water, sewage. Okay, I'm gonna put garbage or trash. 35. And these are bills that are the same every month, so that's why I don't need to do like a projected total. It'll be the same. Auto, we don't have a car payment. Public transportation, okay, gas, we pay, I'd say about 25 bucks a month. We don't drive very much because we both work from home. And then our kids take the bus to school. Um, well, actually, I should leave that. We'll have to, I might change that. We'll see. This is interesting. It has fuel and then gas. <laughs> okay. The cost that it takes to fuel the car is about 25 a month because we don't, we don't really drive it that much. Okay. And then our home insurance uh, comes out of our monthly mortgage payment. That So that comes, that's factored into the 709 our health insurance comes out of my check kind of pre take home dollars. So it's before this amount even comes to me. We don't have life insurance. And then our car insurance is 5450. And again, this is a split. So this is my portion. So it's like a hundred something. And I'm going to leave that blank because we did have, oh, we had a hit and run and apparently it doesn't matter. Like that could impact our, our insurance when it's time to renew it. So that's a bummer. But hopefully it does not. Okay, and then groceries. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say 600 for the month. Okay, and then dining out is gonna be a little bit more this month because, but I mean, it's gonna be some because usually we don't go out because my kids have some food allergies and my husband is a little bit particular about what he likes to eat, so we don't typically go out. But since I'm gonna be at Go Wild, this is a tough one. So I think I'm gonna budget like, Oh my gosh, I don't want to lowball it. So I'm going to be there for like five days, potentially two meals a day. This is a tough one. Let me know in the comments as I'm trying to figure this out, like how much you would budget. And I don't even really know because I don't go out that much. Also, there is tax involved. I'm going to put 350. I don't know if that's too much or not. And I'm going to try to keep it lower than that. Kids, we don't have any medical things outstanding for the kids. Clothing, school tuition, it's not a thing. School supplies, we did that at the beginning. No fees, lunch money, nope. Childcare, toys and games, none. Okay, and then we don't owe on our taxes. Our property taxes, again, come out of the housing and rent. So the mortgage. Personal care, okay, hair and nails. Uh, I'm gonna say it's gonna be about 120 this month. I, somebody commented a while ago and said that that was like kind of a lot, but that is for a full set of nails usually. That's usually what I have to have my full set redone. And then I can gel pedicure as well. So that's nails and toes together. Clothing, I don't think I'm gonna spend anything this month, but I did buy new clothes last month for Go Wild. And then I don't have any medical costs. Oh, I guess, so Delilah takes a supplement and that is gonna be about $50 throughout the month. I think I need to buy it twice. Okay, outings. I'm gonna budget 200 just for outings and things that we wanna do in the DC area when I'm out there. And my 15 year old is coming as well. So that factors into this dining out number. Loans, my student loans are paid out of a trust. I don't have a personal loan and I don't have a credit card balance. And then I need to actually get how much is deposited into my retirement, my 401k, but that's pre-tax dollars. So that doesn't come out of this. And then for my savings, I usually put a hundred per month. So, let me quickly do some calculator math and then we'll get our projected total for everything. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna add everything up and then I will be right back. I don't think we got enough time to sort out all the fights. Yeah. Sort out all the lies, oh baby, yeah There was a part of me that knew that And still I'm caught by surprise I thought you'd always be mine Oh yeah, I guess our dreams fell Okay, so the total projected for everything Let's see here So it's going to be, let's see, my income I'm going to put the total expenses number And then I will add my income sources up Okay, so Total, oh, total expenses are 25, 27. And then 
will do. So we're going to do 40 to 66 and 26 cents plus like 500. So then that is 47, 66 and 60 cents. And then my results are, and I might even put more than a hundred into my savings. We'll have to see. So then 25, 27 should be left. And then we've got 22, 39, 26. Okay. As our projected amount that is left. My guess is that things will come up because we are still working with someone to fix our car from our hit and run. And then I'm guessing that there will be other purchases that I make when I make a while, but hopefully it is not too much of a difference. But that is my month at a glance with my budget numbers. Let me know if you have a good system for budgeting, if you've been up to date with your budgeting, how that's all going. If you are still doing it in your planner, let me know. And I will be back mid-month with a budget check-in. So thanks so much for being here. If you are new, hello, my name is Caitlin, and I would love it if you would hit that red subscribe button down below and go ahead and give me a follow, a subscribe, and all of that good stuff. And make sure you have your bell notification turned to all. Um, that would be great. So then you stay up to date, especially because go wild footage is coming and all of that good stuff. So thanks again for being here. And if you would like to, you can also follow me over on Instagram. I am at creating in chaos underscore official. I also have a podcast that is relaunching very soon, wherever you get your favorite podcasts. Um, it's called spiced chaos and I absolutely love making that show. So you can find it on Spotify, Apple Music, Google Play. Um, and I'm certain there are other places that I'm missing, but those are the big ones. And then if you are one of my current followers, thank you so much for all of your love and support. You all are wonderful. And here's your internet hug for the day. And by the way, you guys have fun today.